Hi, Matt Bisogno from Tennis Profits here again. And uh, please forgive my croaky voice, uh, struggling a little bit with uh, seasonal seasonal man flu. Uh, but I'm soldiering on and I'm here today to bring you an update on the trading stats report, the longer awaited trading stats report. It's very, very nearly ready and should be with you um, in a matter of days. It's going to live under this trading stats menu item so at the moment if you hover over the other ones you get these drop downs and this one will have a couple of drop downs in a minute as well um, it will have the the match stats which is where this one links to at the moment and also it will have the trading stats report so let's have a another look at the training trading stats report and uh, if you remember it consists of a series of configurable options at the top some new ones on there um, so we've got surface all or today's the green is the selection we, we might actually change this red background to white a white background with a green border and green text just because I think the reds um, a little bit garish um, anyway so uh, today's is selected I selected last 30 matches here you can have last 10 one year and two year and I've just got the WTA matches selected here although you can of course select the other tours um, if you would like to view finished matches for any reason you can do that by toggling that one and if you want to see tomorrow's matches you can do that by toggling that one in this case there are not any we have in this block here the strategy block we've got different collections of statistics so for key stats we've got a service hold return points one break points saved break points one and opponent hold and then We've got some options here to show 10 players, 20 players or 50 players. In this case, there's, we can only see um, as many players as there are. I'm recording this video late in the week, so a lot of the tournaments have got towards their closing stages and therefore there are less matches or fewer matches if you prefer. Okay, so and then we've got the lay the leader strategy, the lay set one and the swing trading, the key stats for those. In the actual content box, we've got the scheduled time and of course you will know already that um, these are subject to change so um, just have to be mindful of that that's a that's a, a function of tennis where matches are played sequentially on the same court we've got the player names and this little eye icon info icon um, if you click that that's going to open up the match page so i'll show you that in a second we've got the players odds um, and then the stats over here all, all of these columns are sortable uh, as you see let's say I wanted to know who had the best break points one record I could sort by uh, the BPW column like this and we can see that it's May Hontemar um, but that stat in itself doesn't really tell us anything so what we need to do is is we need to contextualize it remember the whole point of this report is to save you time when you're looking for your trades so ostensibly the best break points one percentage is a very is an interesting statistic but we don't know if that's if these numbers have been uh, achieved on a very small number of instances of break points uh, situations and we don't know whether may haunt we don't know whether the top stat is being compared with the next top or the bottom uh, in the list so we need to understand not just who's got a good stat but how that stat sits in relation to the opponent's stat and that's where these two boxes here come in so first of all we can highlight the dominant player and we can see here that um, <clears throat> unsurprisingly the ones towards the top of this uh, table are um, are the dominant player in their matches and as you might expect for players who win a, a larger number of break points they also win a larger number of um, points on the opponent's serve so those we would expect to see some alignment here um, the the green number so let's just select this May to my match like that she is playing Shelby Rogers Shelby Rogers is a strong favorite in this match interestingly um, <clears throat> we can see that on break points one Hontemar it has a 57.1 percent differential advantage over Shelby Rogers and I just want to be clear about something here this this number 57.1 is is obviously not 72.9 take away 46.4 
it's 72.9 divided by uh, 46.4 that's how we work out the percentage differential so it's one divided by the other not take away um, because it's a relative a percentage is a relative number not an absolute number okay um, apologies for laboring that if you knew that already so what we're looking for is we're not necessarily looking for the best the highest percentage in a column we're looking for the biggest differential between um, player A and player B and in this case we've actually got both so this is quite an interesting one now what we can see also is that Hontemar's breakpoints one strong percentage is somewhat um, equalized by Shelby Rogers breakpoint save percentage which is very high we can see it's nearly as, as you can see 59.2 versus 30 this is a much better example of what I'm saying about these these numbers it's nearly double so this is 96 percent greater than Hontemar's record so that's what those numbers mean now the other thing is right how big is the sample size how many how many breakpoints has Hontemar had from which she's won 72.9 so if we click this other button here show breakdown we can see that so we can see that Hontemar's record is from 181 breakpoint opportunities she's converted 132 which is um, fantastic and we can see that for Shelby Rogers she's faced on her own serve 184 breakpoints and she has saved 109 of them uh, which is pretty good too so I mean that the, the betting has them wide apart and potentially it could be a, a closer game than that it, it, a closer match than that it could be a, a, a good trading match because of these um, it looks like there might be a lot of break points in the match so uh, be interesting anyway that's the, and that's that's the idea of, of this report is to, rather than having to as we do at the moment um, having to go kind of into every match individually and um, and view the statistics in this case we've got a situation where um, where we can see all of the players playing today for a given stat oh sorry the, the other the other thing that I meant to mention was if you click on the I here um, that's going to open up the match page in question so here we are Shelby Rogers versus May Hontemar and we've got all the normal data that you would expect in there um, and you can review that in more detail as you would like if you click anywhere in the in the table it's going to bring back all the other matches and then you can you can look for if you're using the highlight dominant player option you can see the ones with the larger green percentage remember the red percentages are a negative so the this this dominant player as it were Garbina Muguruza she actually uh, her opponent holds more often than her so that's that these are a negative stat when it's a red percentage sorry that was a bit bit, a bit garbled but I hope you got what I meant so that is the trading stats report and of course we've got this these data for all sorts of things like broken and break back before the end of the set which is a again Hontemar has a very high statistic here which is quite interesting Shelby not not terrible but less good than, than Hontemar so it'd be an interesting match to watch this Hontemar Rogers one anyway and you can play around with this to your heart's content the intention is to add in probably a couple more buttons here such that we've got all of the statistics covered somewhere in what behind one of these buttons so you can if, if your if your favorite stat is players who hold serve at 5-4 or get broken at 5-4 and lose the set whatever it is um, you'll be able to somewhere within these options you'll be able to find that stat and see who the the most appealing uh, trades might be for that particular statistic so really excited to share this with you I, 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 I you know I've been promising it a long time we've, <laughs> we've been frustrating we've, we've hit a few um, bumps in the road uh, as you may have guessed hence the delay but we are very nearly there now and um, I really do think it's going to be a real time saver uh, for you and I'm looking forward to, to sharing it with you on live probably early next week. Okay, it's Matt Bisogno for Tennis Profit saying thank you for watching and bye for now.